The 1996 RACV Energy Breakthrough. The Green Grand Prix. A passport to a sustainable future. This event, the culmination of months of combined effort from students, teachers and supporters, is jointly managed by the Directorate of School Education, the Country Education Project, Central Goldfields Shire Council and the Central Goldfields Regional Development Board. It is sponsored by the RACV. Since 1991, the RACV Energy Breakthrough has offered primary and secondary school students exciting real-world challenges in science, technology and environmental education. Its focus is on transport, energy conservation and teamwork. It's probably the best learning that they can have. Obviously they want to build a vehicle and get involved in the competition, but to do that successfully they have to learn about materials, about team participation, about energy, going through the, uh, the nights, uh, selling sponsorship, doing their team designs. A lot of areas of education that come from uh, working on the vehicle. Teamwork is an important element um, and they just have to work together. I mean they can have one or two good riders, but they're just not going to the event won't come together for them. They've got to perform in all the skill areas. So, uh, yeah, and a lot of them realise that they're not going to win, so they've set their goals in terms of their own improvement and what they, they want to do in terms of the school curriculum. So it, it offers that, that scope. The breakthrough is more than an event. It's a new way of thinking. It's one of the most important student participation events in Australia. It takes a team effort and an across-the-curriculum approach. It integrates technology with science, language, health and fitness, graphics design, entrepreneurial and promotional skills. Well, the feedback we get from, from the schools is, is that the students are really highly motivated. So, I mean, it really brings kids into engagement with education. That they're in control. Um, they learn a great deal about teamwork. They learn a lot about technology. They learn about the importance of a number of curriculum areas. And we deliberately had it so that areas like uh, diet and uh, English and their oral presentation were important. So it wasn't appealing to just one skill area, but went across a number of curriculum areas. Throughout 1996, students and teachers from schools across Victoria have been involved in this hands-on learning experience. Working with the support of parents and local industry, they designed and constructed vehicles, machines and innovations in technology that represent an energy breakthrough. The participants in the 1996 RACV Energy Breakthrough gathered at the Lakeside Circuit in Maryborough from Friday, November the 22nd to Sunday the 24th to celebrate their achievements. There are four separate categories designed to cater for different levels of technology application and understanding. For younger pupils, push carts provide a challenging and enjoyable category introducing energy use and technology at primary school level. Push carts are based on the humble billy cart, but with a roll bar that doubles as a push bar. The push carts are powered solely by students operating in teams of eight, with at least four girls per team. The push carts are raced around an obstacle course and in sprint and circuit events. Section 2 is the human-powered vehicles. The HPVs are single-seated with at least three wheels and do not exceed four metres in length. The entrants participate in the 24-hour endurance trial, including a nine-hour lights-on period. The emphasis is on a vehicle that is efficient, stable and totally people-powered. Some approach the top speed limit of 60 kilometres an hour. Then there are hybrid powered people carriers. Entrants design, build and compete with a one or two seater vehicle powered by a combination of at least two energy sources. Batteries, solar, pedal, wind, 
alcohol, petrol, diesel and other power sources are explored to power these unique and fuel efficient machines, which are no longer than three and a half metres. And for the young inventors, innovations in technology. Here are the creative examples of the overall energy efficiency theme. Wrapping together energy efficiency, computer technology and the environment, developing models that demonstrate genuine attempts in improving energy usage. It's basically an education program and we started it because we believed that the kids needed hands-on experience and a, and a sort of program, particularly in technology where they were in control and they were challenged in a number of sort of technical areas uh, and areas like uh, English and maths and uh, phys ed. So it goes right across the curriculum and appeals to all ages. On the day before the RACV energy breakthrough, teams arrive in Maryborough to register and set up camp. For three nights, the students, teachers and parents call this temporary campsite home. <laughs> day one. The program begins. Throughout the day, there is design and construction assessment and scrutineering with display and presentation. At the same time, practice sessions are held around the lakeside circuit. An opportunity to test the theory, compare with others, and practice the all-important pit stop changes. In addition to the long hours dedicated to design and construction, the teams have a diet and training program which can rival Olympic efforts. Pre-event track conditions, simulation and manoeuvrability practice are important, particularly when riders are tired. That night, the scene transforms and excitement builds as the vehicles are tested on a floodlit track. Day two. The Energy Expo runs all day Saturday. Excited young inventors happily share their innovations and new knowledge with the public and the judges. What have you built there? A boat out of recycled materials, mainly. How long did it take you? Um, about three or four weeks. You're fairly happy that it's working so well? Yes. You think you can win your section? I don't know. <laughs> you'd like to. Yeah. Push carts compete in the final of the endurance relay, followed by sprint relays. The count begins for race time. Frantic work continues to get vehicles ready. How's the vehicle going? Um, oh, I was going to get there, I hope. <laughs> what's happened? Oh, the fairing come unbolted last night. And all the chains not um, going around through the rollers. It's been getting caught up in the seat cover. Mm. How'd it go? Brilliant, thanks. Yeah? Yeah, um, I don't like that hill up there. That's going to be a problem, I think. <laughs> They were hard on your legs down there when there's a headwind down that straight, but coming down pit lane with a tailwind, you really fly. It just feels so good to be passing everyone down the straights. <laughs> Andrew, how's the uh, vehicle looking? Oh, it's blitzing. Blitzing? Yep. You going to take the record? Yep, once again. <laughs> oh, it's a great way of getting everybody together to work as a team. Fantastic. Yep. We'll be back again and again and again. The hybrid and human-powered vehicle entries attend briefing sessions and are reminded of the importance of safety. If you see a red flag, you stop straight away or you follow the direction of the person holding the red flag. I had a couple this morning drive right underneath it while I was holding it. It means stop. It means something pretty drastic has gone wrong. You need to come to a complete halt.